Hey guys, if you make a common mistake, you may end up spending thousands of dollars on repairs that you may actually not need. Make sure to stay until the end, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to World of Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a Dodge Ram that generation here from year 2013 to year 2018. If you need to find guys where the turn signal fuses are located, stay with us. We'll explain that in this video today. We'll explain where you can find them, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste money and time. Why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure to stay until the end. So let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix anything like engines, transmission, codes, fuses, bodywork, all that stuff. Why we do all that? Because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. On this channel guys, specifically, we will be making a video about every single fuse, every single relay on that Dodge Ram and let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your fuel pump fuse goes bad, all we have to do, find our video, watch it for a minute or two, replace that fuse, you're back on the road. So we do that guys to help you as much as we can. Also, we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So let's start on it now. So guys, there is four fuses we need to check, we will explain why. There is very limited information about the turn signal fuses. We have one fuse, that's for the BCM exterior lightning and three more that we need to check. If that doesn't fix your problem, we'll explain what else can cause it. Go ahead, open the hood guys, here on the driver's side in front of the car battery. You will see the main engine fuse box, press these two tabs at the same time, lift up, it will open on the inside, you will find the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. Guys, it's very important to always test your fuses and relays. Why? Sometimes you may think you have a good fuse, guys. It's hard to tell. Look at those fuses, right? And sometimes, okay, you pull the fuse. Okay, I'm going to get the fuse puller and I'm going to remove one fuse. I want to, I want to show you on that 20 amp fuse. Sometimes it's very unclear if that fuse is burned or not. You may not clearly see it. So always, guys, test them because if you don't test the fuse, you assume it's good, you end up spending money time and diagnostics for problems that do not exist guys so you can just waste your money and time always test your fuses always test relays we will put links in the description of the video below where you can find guys a video for testing a fuse and testing a relay that will explain everything that you need to do if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for your Dodge Ram, fuses, relays at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time, we're going to put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience, please check it out. Here is what we need to check specifically for the turn signals. Now, uh, guys, make sure you stay until the end, we want to give you one quick advice so that way you don't end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us, guys. Now, uh, there are four fuses that we will need to check, but again, there is very limited information. If you check the fuses and they're fine, what do you need to do next, guys? Okay, you need to make sure that you don't have a bad turn signal bulb, uh, a light assembly, and uh, you need to sometimes clear, reset BCM module codes as well. That could be done as well. Sometimes it can cause, guys, okay, lights not to work. The first fuse that you will need to check will be fuse number 10. We're talking about uh, these fuse, guys, guys, that you see right here. Then you need to check fuse number 12 right there, okay? These two are very important fuses. The next fuse that we need to check will be uh, fuse number 14. Now, those are guys super confusing numbers. They don't go in any order at all, guys. Uh, so 14 will be the one right here. And the last one that you need to check is fuse number 23 right there so guys you have all kinds of different fuses and relays some of those are very specific they're hard to find especially if you're in a small town or in the middle of nowhere one time we needed a replacement we couldn't find one and we were stuck in the middle of nowhere for a few days until we got a shipment on the internet guys so keep some spares in your glove box for peace of mind hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time 